Four, right, guys? They're playing a Malphite top lane in Split Two. We're playing Malphite this game versus a Teemo top lane. And for the wins, we got Arcane Comet right now. We got Metaflow, Transcendent, Scorch, Biscuit's Delivery, and then also the Cosmic Inside. Now we're actually playing Malphite again. It's been it's been a while since I've actually played him. Um, Malphite top lane has been a recommendation for you know for the longest time ever in my opinion i've been recommending him to so many people but i rarely play malphite and that's because i actually always ban him i get that question a lot what champ do you always ban it's always malphite i have like several reasons for that um but my own personal big reason is the fact that it's not fun to play against let's get that shove here so Malphite has two versions, which you need to be well aware of. You have the Grass version, which you're going to be picking into any uh, uh, melee matchup, or you're going to be picking Arcing Comet specifically versus ranged matchup. So if you're running into like Vayne, Top Lane, Caitlyn, Teemo, whatever, whatever people make up these days, uh, you can go ahead, go for the Q Max, and you can basically go Arcing Comet, spam Q, and then you win. It's actually very, very, very simple. Let's see if we can get the push immediately. They have a Skarner jungle. Yeah, Arcane Comet Malphite is the most furious like type of uh, version you can play into ranged champs, to be honest with you. Definitely the best. I'm losing so much farm. Haven't been that unlucky in a while, but he's been blocking away some of the farm too. It's okay. We lost a lot of farm, but it's fine. Got the pusher. So the objective is simple. Just get him low. That's it. It's a pretty smart Teemo. I'm not going to lie. Because he's actually running TP. Doesn't seem to be taking the risk. And he's staying from a mile away. I wonder if I could actually hit one of my Qs. Hey, yep. I'm going to try to like use up as little mana as possible for the wave so I can just spam Q all day and then teleport when it's when the time comes. There's a Skarner top but also Camille's up here. Hmm. Don't have enough mana. Do have Camille standing in position. But the mana limitation is quite annoying. He needs to fall back though. Especially as soon as I hit level 5, um, I'll have another point to my Q. Anyway, typically you don't win with model fight in these type of matchups this early on. But if you play with Arcane Comet, you actually do win the early game. It's one of the biggest recommendations. That's why I always play Arcane Comet. Um, I'll save up my mana here for Teemo. Seems like he's still fighting him. I can flash on... Oh, Camille walks away. He's up there. Okay, cancelled. He used the passive. <laughs> oh man, he got outplayed so hard. Too bad for him. Hmm. Don't have a lot of mana, so it's going to be quite risky. Got one guy at least. He's got the uh, level 6 right now, so I'm gonna have to run for my life. Oh. There's the flash. Yeah, I expected that to happen, but that's okay. Like, we can run on the flash. We have my teleport up, so I can just TP back topside. We're losing that much. In fact, I don't even think we have to. It depends. Did lose a lot of XP. But in comparison with Teemo, it's not that much. Okay, I'm going to go for... So it, as it sounds, I'm going to go for that one. Actually, I might just ignore it completely. I'm just going to go for Merc straight away. And I'll teleport. Yeah, I was thinking of going for Dark Seal, but considering we're going for Tank Mode, we don't really need that. It's better if we just go into Merc's Instant Purchase. It's just a lot better. And our first item is going to be like an MR. I was thinking about... Of I lost that one again. I am very unlucky with farm this game. 
I was thinking of going for Sunfire, but it just doesn't make any sense in what I'm playing against. I'm gonna go for the alternative. Of course, that, that's Teemo alive again. I'm not gonna lie, this is the first time you'll ever see me lose that much farm into Teemo, but it's just what the matchup does to you. Because Teemo, as you can see, will always blind you. The Teemo blind is the most annoying because it. And I misclick on top of that just to make it better. Alright. <laughs> Doesn't possibly get any worse than this. Let's see if we can end another Q on him. As you can see, like, Teemo doesn't really get to play the lane. Because whenever he gets an auto range, I can pop in my Q. And my Q is going to do a lot more damage than his auto attack ever will. So, in theory, I al always win the 1v1. There is no chance for me to lose those 1v1s. And we can take some of the damage. There's a Mulsar top lane, but he doesn't beat me. Okay see if I can ult him. I was actually planning on keeping my ultimate for someone else. Well, at least I got him. Yep. Goodbye. I specifically timed my ultimate so I could hit the camp at the same time. Let's see. I'm going to shove this out. Timo is still up here. Good. And let's spend my Q again until we win. Should still be there. Yeah, playing Malphite like this is honestly too simple. Way too easy. Because my Q range, uh, my Q typically doesn't get dodged. There's no way for it to happen. And we can also start putting points in my ear right now. That's slow push. Yeah, we can use that to reset soon. 1.6k at the moment. What I want to do is I want to go in... I was planning on going for Sunfire, but I'm actually going to go into this one specifically. I think that Hollow Knight in, in this game, or Hollow Radiance, not Hollow Knight, how did I even get up with that stuff? I don't even play that game. But, um, never played that game in my life before. But, Hollow Radiance, if I build that item, he will never beat me again. Never. I could ult in like 15, but I have to save up my mana properly, because I have to mana to all in but I don't have to mana to my full combo very good yeah let's go back here okay first things first we are going for hollow radiance this is where everything changes nice and let's go Yeah, despite pl despite like farming like like one of the worst like because of the the the, the team OQ blind and every fight that happens so far, we are actually doing somewhat pretty decent. Yes. Actually, quite surprised. <laughs> so I can't complain, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I will not touch the wave right now. At least I'm going to try not to. My plan is to let the wave push in my direction. However, I think I might have just messed it up because of my item. So this might not work anymore. Maybe for a little bit. There you go. Now we hold. By the way, bot lane is losing the game very, very hard. However, I have a good feeling about this game. I don't think that we're going to struggle as much. 
very uh, very much doubt it if i take that first item i will never die to Timo or malsar ever again in my opinion our uh team comp is like two million times better than theirs like i'm not worried as much Not getting in Q range. I love how Teemos is not able to play the game. Like, Teemo is designed to, like, poke you out um, from a mile away and sort of, like, bully you out of the lane. But as you can see, Teemo doesn't get to do that at all. Like, he doesn't have a chance to do it. Because my Q will always, always beat him. It's very, um, very unfair in my opinion. But this is how Malphite is. Got my ult in like five. Seems like they're wanting to dive. Yep, kill chances to me. It does seem like there's more people moving this direction, so I'm just gonna run for my life. Take that with me too. And we keep running, because I think that Skarner is gonna chase me down right now. I do have my hollow radiance. We just need to get my reset. Uh, might not teleport for this. Okay, next item is an item that should help me counter specifically Kate. So what I'm thinking of doing is going into specifically Thormill uh, for the HP, for the armor, for the effect itself. I'm going to need this. The effect is very, very valuable here. And I think that, like, Thormil is the only thing I would need against Caitlyn. I think so. She doesn't do a lot of damage early on. Caitlyn is uh, a champ that skills. It's going to be a pretty tough game because the Caitlyn's walking around with Collector at the moment. And I have no ultimate. They're already taking tower. Uh, my jungler can't do anything. No idea what my jungler is going to accomplish. My ultimate is like 15 seconds from now. So if I have ult, we can try something out. It's still 3 against 4, so we don't typically win this. Yeah, I need my teammates to, like, prepare the dragon. Hmm. Okay. At least we're taking one guy. Man, okay, this is more unplayable than I thought. Okay, this is very difficult. We're winning with Malfi top, but my whole team are all behind. So we have we have a big challenge ahead of us. We did actually kill Caitlyn, so we got a lot of gold from it. We need to we need to specifically take their bounty away. If we can somehow collect this, you know, we can turn it. Might teleport, might not teleport actually. I don't think I can save it. Well, I got this. We're keeping tower alive. Good. And because there's like two people top lane, my teammates are actually winning right now. So this is excellent. We're preventing them from getting tower, and we're getting dragon for free because they were two people top lane. So we win that. Very good. Uh, he, he does like very little damage because I uh, I have my first item. He's spamming Q. We'll get him low eventually. Look at this. Look how strong and this also scanner top. Oh, 
not on to the next target, I suppose. I'm still hitting my Qs. <laughs> I can buy my Thorma right now within like 100, so I'm taking away from them for good. I think we can rotate for free. Uh, this dive is uh, kind of uh, decent. I wasn't really planning on ulting Skarner. I was actually going to plan on going to mid lane to catch up Caitlyn, but this is okay. Uh, he's very likely to be uh, to be dead right now. Glad I got some movement speed. Got 1.8, so we can actually buy the Thorma right now. Yep. Um, next item that we are buying will be... Um, I want to go for more MR, to be honest with you. I actually need more MR. So I'm thinking of going for this item because it provides me HP, uh, MR, unfortunately, no cooldown. <clears throat> but like, it's the perfect item to our team comp and then we would just need to have random wins for Kate. So we're, we're getting super tanky right now. Got my teleport in like 44. Look at that wave gear, bro. We can make a play. I'm uh, I'm on my way. I'm on my way with the ultimate. There's the shutdown. I'll fight life, dude. Do you guys understand right now why Malphite is so strong? Like, we're carrying the team on the back with the most broken ult in the game. Super simple. Tower. We need like a thousand more to get my next MR item. Easier rain. Thank you for the sub, dude. Thank Enemy you for supporting me. Spring. Thank you, man. Yeah, let's shove this out. Uh, there's a possibility someone is going to go top. We'll run from the right side. And let's build into that item. We can get both. Yeah, I can I can ensure you we're not going to struggle at all. If they try and focus me down, they're gonna do zero damage. Um maybe like Kaylin's like kind of like an exception. Um she has collector and infinity, so she's gonna do a lot of damage on me. But we have so much MR. And we have another catch. Malsor's top, so unfortunately I will have to teleport. At least I think so. Maybe I don't teleport actually. Maybe I just don't. Because if I go to here, we will get that dragon for frame. For sure, if we can catch the Skarner. Yep. Look at this, dude. Look how much we're getting from this. There's, of course, a kid on the way. Oh, I'll keep running. Just there's like a Kate like on the back here. 
She never got caught. She would have been fine right now. I could have saved that uh, Camille simply by not getting hit. Wait, I am going for a teleport. Could maybe try and steal it. Never mind. Yeah, they will uh, they will chase me down. Could look for a bait, maybe. I can bait for a long time, so if they try and focus me, I just need to make uh, to wait for my team to arrive. If, if if that happens, right? They don't seem very interested. Let's go for that rotation. My teammates should not be fighting if I'm not there because I'm the person to start those fights, right? And with me in that team fight, it's a complete difference. But they should just they should just not get caught. That's it. Got my ult. I've got a lot of magic resist, I should be okay. Yeah. I'll back off here. So we need to have a little, little bit more armor for Caitlyn. I think that most of the damage came from Caitlyn for sure. Not these guys have too much MR for them. Okay, let's go top lane. We'll just redo that fight. There was one guy unfortunately missing when that fight was starting. Uh, one person died previously, so that's why the team fight was a little bit different. We could be chasing him down to the very end so he doesn't get to back. Maybe find him. Yes. I think he may have backed the entire way, possibly. Good chance. Yep, he's still here. Good. The longer that he cannot back, the more we get ahead. Still hasn't backed. Got my teammates on the way, but it might be too late. They're on the way mid lane, so my teammates will get caught again. Yeah, my teammates definitely get caught a lot this game. They can probably see me turning here. Take the thrash down first. Actually, never mind. Just go for K immediately. Yep. I got him too. Well, so yeah, like they they got Baron, but like who cares? We just got their entire team uh, entire team down. So they did get, like, the gold, but who cares, man? We, we got their whole team down. They actually didn't benefit from the Baron buff. And we were missing, like, half the team when we were fighting this. Like, we were missing almost everyone. Remember that my teammates were all... They were all losing previously. Remember that, guys. We had a full team losing, and they're making a comeback right now. Remember this. Okay, we actually have the randoins. Very good. And the last thing that I think I'm probably getting, it might be uh, Jacksha, so that I will infinitely live. I click my teleport. <laughs> Not kidding. Not even kidding.
But bueno, wait, thank you so much for the sub gift, bro. Thank you for supporting me with the gift. That Kaylin's gonna die. 100%. Yeah. He's gone. Definitely get away. Meanwhile, my teammates are struggling pretty bad. Um, I'm yeah, we have no Talia on the way here. If Talia comes, this time, this time, okay, it's not. I, uh, it's it, it's it's weird to me. That team fight should have been a win, but again, we were all separated, completely separated. I don't think we've ever had a single team fight in this in this game where we were actually being grouped. We, we really have to group just that one time. That's going to make the difference. Um, yeah, okay. Let's see how much damage they've actually done. So, still about 4,000 damage from from, from Mozart and Teemo. So, we can actually go... We're, we're going to go into magic pieces right here. Most of the damage is still coming from these guys. We just need one one single team fight. And not having Atalia split push. That's it. That would be enough. The Atalia has to come back here. Hopefully we can get like a really fancy like Malphite ult off. I told you. What did I tell you guys? We group one time and we win. It's that simple. Now, of course, half my team died on our tower. Yeah, half my team died on her tower, so we should have won that, but... Goodbye, dude. But yeah, now you can see what I was talking about. We just grouped that one time and that's it. You know, the worst thing is, I need like... Uh, 600 gold, and then we have Jack Show, and Jack Show is one of the biggest power spikes for me. Because I have, like, so much armor, magic resist, and HP this game. We're gonna benefit from the Jack Show a lot, if we buy it. Next. I only need less than 400. We need people to group mid lane again. Um, I don't want my teammates to take free damage. My jungler is taking a jungle camp right now. My jungler is taking a jungle camp. I can see that, dude. I saw that. Yeah, I saw on the map, man. I saw it on the map. 
my jungle was doing a jungle camp. I could see it. He was thought he was here. He was right here. Again, not being grouped. We're never, never, ever, 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 ever grouped. Like, ever. There's no jungle camp or anything that can fix not being grouped. Like, we are stronger grouped. We have a better team fight grouped. You can take as many jungle camps or farm as many side lanes as you want, but they have more teleports. Like, the answer is being grouped. Like, that's very much it. There's no, uh, there's nothing else. There's no reason to avoid team fights. We have a better team fight. Maybe not anymore because they actually just beaten us. Okay, I need like, you know what? I'm staying. I'm gonna buy this in like 15. Okay, Drake spawns in 15 seconds. That forces the team to group. Oh, no, my mid laner. My, no, oh, my Telia's back port and my teammates get caught again. Oh, we just can never be grouped, can we? We're, it's impossible to group. There's no way. There's always someone that gets caught right before the objective and someone backing. It's always like that this game. Yeah, we're not gonna win this. It's we're outnumbered. Straight up. We have, we're at a disadvantage again. I can be blocking. Okay. Still got ult. Hmm. I truly, 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 truly wish that there was a scenario where I could just group with my team. I think I, I think I pinged and I typed it to my team like almost ten times at this point. It's impossible. It's unfortunate to see this game being thrown away like this. Our win condition is literally the team fight itself. Team get caught again. Okay, the game's over. GG. Now nah, they're finishing the game. Wow. Okay. Whatever. Hey, either way, this is uh, Malphite Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching today's Malphite video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.